Food processing, facility sanitation, is an integral part of good manufacturing practices. Effective sanitation aids in ensuring the wholesomeness, safety, and quality of shell eggs. The negative impacts on food safety and egg quality are a result of microbial growth. Research has shown that ineffective cleaning and sanitation practices or programs can lead to reduced quality duration or potential product contamination. Residual microorganisms can lead to egg spoilage or foodborne illness. Most of this training series will focus on the United States Department of Agriculture, Agricultural Marketing Service Pre-Operational Sanitation Inspection Expectations. However, remember that the Food and Drug Administration has oversight of consumer shell eggs in the United States as stated in 21 CFR 117. Additionally, customers, accrediting organizations, such as Safe Quality Food, British Retail Consortium Global Standard, and others, as well as state and local regulatory agencies, may have additional facility sanitation expectations that can impact your facility. AMS sanitation requirements are meant to protect the integrity of the USDA grade mark by requiring additional sanitation expectations at facilities that utilize AMS voluntary grading services. To meet these goals, AMS inspectors will assess for voluntary grading program requirements during the pre-operational sanitation inspection and throughout processing operations by utilizing organoleptic inspection assessments. While AMS may review microbial test results as part of certain export programs, AMS does not conduct nor require swabbing or biological testing during routine sanitation assessments. So what is organoleptic inspection? Organoleptic inspection assessments include sight, smell, and touch. However, microbial growth will not always be seen, smelled, or felt. Critical areas are defined as equipment with potential surface contact with eggs or come in contact with wash water or air blown to dry the eggs. Non-critical areas are defined as areas that are not likely to imminently affect product quality. Non-critical does not mean it is not important. Non-critical, unsatisfactory conditions should be addressed after the processing line has been started, unless unable to safely do so during processing. In this module, the critical and non-critical areas of this piece of equipment will be identified and discussed. Additionally, examples will be used to illustrate the unsatisfactory and satisfactory condition of various components associated with the accumulator. Egg processing facilities shall be thoroughly cleaned at the end of each operating day. The term reasonably clean is applied during the egg processing shift to indicate that equipment and processing areas are maintained with minimum egg meat accumulation. More explanation of these terms is presented in the introduction module. The accumulator is the portion of the processing line that gathers and aligns eggs from the farm belt and loader before they enter the washers. In some facilities, there may be additional conveyor systems that accomplish getting the eggs to the accumulator. These systems will be reviewed for sanitation in conjunction with the accumulator and will have similar critical and non-critical areas. As of January 2020, portions of the accumulator are deemed critical for pre-operational sanitation inspection. The following portions of the accumulator are critical belting surfaces, overhead sensors, overhead mounts for sensors, guides, reflector plates, and transfer plates. Belting surfaces can be made from different materials such as mylar, plastic linkage, or metal grid. Each can present unique challenges for cleaning and maintaining surface integrity. Mylar belts should be free from breaks and tears since this can serve as niches for microbial growth. Non-continuous belting surfaces can also impede egg movement leading to piling of eggs and cracking. Plastic linkage and metal grid belting have large amounts of surface area and should be thoroughly cleaned. Buildup of dirt, soil, shell fragments and egg meat can serve as reservoirs for microbial growth. 
Sensors are often mounted over the accumulator to provide pertinent data to the processing equipment. Eggs can pile under the sensors, resulting in eggs touching the sensors. Therefore, overhead mounted sensors and brackets are critical and must be thoroughly cleaned before the start of the processing day. Sensors may be challenging to reach and effectively clean. Facility management and personnel should develop cleaning procedures to ensure effective cleaning of all sensors associated with the accumulator. The bracket over the gray building is not meant for egg contact with backups, so it will not be considered critical. These are examples of various types of guides, bars, and brackets on newer and older machines. All egg contact parts of the brackets are critical. The overhead backup sensor bar before the diamond guides is critical because of egg contact potential. The control cabinet and round tubing over the MOVA accumulator would be non-critical. Transfer plates, guides, and reflector plates are pieces of the accumulator that assist with transferring and aligning eggs through the accumulator toward the washer. These are critical components as they come in direct contact with the eggs. Irrespective of the materials used or the design of the components, these pieces must be thoroughly cleaned before the processing day can begin. Care should also be taken to ensure the underside of the guide that is above the belting is cleaned. This can be a reservoir for dirt, debris, shell fragments, and egg meat which can provide a niche for microbial growth. In addition to the upper portions of the accumulator belting, the underside of the belt, as well as the drive components, must be cleaned. Belting types that allow free transfer of egg meat through the belt will be considered critical on all surfaces. Other non-critical portions of the accumulator would be drive belts, braces, motors, mounts, and legs. The processing line needs to be open and accessible for the day's inspected equipment. Panels should never be placed directly on the processing room floor. A non-porous barrier should be in place. Wooden pallets and cardboard are not appropriate since they are porous and can absorb moisture and microorganisms. A cart or table is also appropriate. Clean doors and equipment parts should always be placed on a clean surface. Facility personnel may follow behind the inspector to close equipment and replace doors and panels after an area has been deemed satisfactorily cleaned. In this shot, we are looking at various components of an accumulator. These include Teflon or plastic guides, transfer plates, open weave belting, and overhead sensor assemblies. All of these are critical items due to potential egg contact and all of these appear to be satisfactorily clean. Open weave belting is critical on all surfaces, top, bottom, and middle, due to potential egg contact. It is important to note that Teflon guides can be removed for cleaning and assessment. Also, the sensor assembly is mounted with a bracket which should be assessed from beneath. When assessing sensors or any other components mounted directly over and in close proximity to the line, Thoroughly inspect all sides, including any hidden crevices that may contain buildup of foreign material. This sensor mount would be considered a critical item due to a high likelihood of egg contact. It appears to be thoroughly clean on all surfaces and satisfactory. Here we see a buildup of feathers, eggshells, and egg meat on the transfer plates, under the metal guides, and going into the washer. These are critical areas and this would be considered an unsatisfactory condition. This area would need to be corrected before operations begin. On this conveyor, the open weave building is critical on all sides. To properly assess many of the non-contact components of conveyors, access to the underneath and internal compartments are necessary. Some of these non-critical components will include the legs, framing, wire conduit, motors on the side of the equipment, as well as the Teflon skids and belt support bars on the inside and underneath. While some units have open access to view internal components of conveyors and accumulators, others may have panels that need to be removed to fully clean and conduct sanitation assessment. 
By looking further into the internal components of the conveyor system, we can see broken eggshell and egg meat remain from previous production. This is unsatisfactory in a non-critical area. This would not prevent current production and could not be attended to while the conveyor is in operation, but would need to be corrected during the next cleaning cycle. Here is an example of why open weave belting is critical on all surfaces. The open weave allows for material to easily migrate through the open voids. While the topmost portion of this belt looks relatively clean, we can see that egg meat has penetrated into the weave, which can lead to egg meat being in contact with fresh eggs. Therefore, this is a critical, unsatisfactory condition that must be addressed before production begins. Here we see an accumulator belt that is satisfactorily cleaned. An occasional piece of shell is not cause for detriment to the product quality. Excessive pieces of eggshell should not be present on critical surfaces after thorough cleaning. This is an example of an unsatisfactory finding on a critical piece of equipment. Here we see the need to thoroughly assess internal components that are not readily accessible. This accumulator belt return bar is a non-critical component that has reached an unsatisfactory state, severe enough to be considered critical and prevent the start of processing. Both thorough cleaning and inspection plans should have prevented this level of debris from accumulating. Some components of processing machines will inherently experience discoloration or staining due to the function and the materials with which it is made. This should not be cause for an unsatisfactory finding. This accumulator drive gear is an example of a satisfactorily cleaned non-critical area. Some components, such as the bearing seen here, require lubrication to perform properly. Small amounts of excess lubricant are expected on non-contact surfaces as long as it does not accumulate egg meat or other foreign material. The current example is satisfactory on the non-critical surface. Overly excessive amounts of lubricant would be unsatisfactory. The accumulator has critical contact areas which must be cleaned prior to startup. It is important to be aware of potential contact areas such as sensors and mounting. Non-critical areas such as bracing under the belting and crossbars should be clean and not allowed to accumulate egg meat and grime. This module has presented a general overview of sanitation assessment of the accumulator. Each facility has a unique design. Therefore, additional areas of the accumulator may be critical. Remember, non-critical conditions are sanitation deficiencies that are not likely to materially affect product quality. But when allowed to continue or combined with other non-critical conditions may result in diminished product quality.